hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time tuning in welcome don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for the support so a woman named lauren pichotta is suing kanye west for sexual harassment and wrongful termination lauren pichotta says in her lawsuit she was an only fans model who posted a bunch of bikini and lingerie pictures and claimed she was making one million a year Kanye hired Lauren in July 2021 after meeting her when he was putting together his fashion line. She says she also collaborated with him and worked with him on three songs on Donda. A year later, she says he came to her and wanted her to be godlike and asked her to delete her OnlyFans account and promised to pay her $1 million a year if she did so. She says she agreed. But Chada claims shortly thereafter, Kanye began to send her a series of text messages, including one that read, See, my problem is I be wanting to F, but then after I F, I want a girl to tell me how hard they've been F while I'm Fing them. Then I want her to cheat on me. Okay. It gets really vulgar after that, with more alleged Text sent from Pachata that describe Yee's Kanye's sexual fantasies with women, including a lot of explicit language. There's one interesting alleged text Pachata claims he sent her that went something like this. Is my D racist? Is it? This effing racist D of mine. I'm going to beat this effing racist D for being effing racist. I'm going to stare at pictures of white women with black ASS and beat the ish out of my racist D. Beating this, beating the ish out of his big B, C. Oh gosh, what? Not just that, but Pachata also claims he would master <clears throat> during phone conversations with her and ask if she could hear or guess what he was doing. Ew. And she claims he was fixated on the penis size of her boyfriends. According to the lawsuit, there was a slew of text messages and sexual videos and photos that were sent to her, including at least two videos of Kanye having SEX with a model. She claims he then promoted her to chief of staff for his companies at a salary of $4 million. Pachata says in October 2022, she was fired but claims he offered her a $3 million severance, which she accepted. She claims he never paid. She's suing for breach of contract, sexual harassment, and wrongful termination in hostile work environment. Okay, so let's see. In July 2021, he hired her to do background vocals on three tracks from the Donda album. Was he professional then? Because I doubt it. Because a year later, she says he came to her and wanted her to be godlike and asked her to delete her OnlyFans account. And she claimed she's making one million a year. So that's when he said, okay, I'll pay you that a year if you quit. And she agreed, right? Then shortly after Kanye began to send her those nasty messages and videos and, and he would master <clears throat> doing phone conversations with her and ask if he could if she could hear or guess. So all of that was not a problem. She was fine with that, right? It was all good because she did not quit, right? She didn't quit. She claims he then promoted her to chief of staff for his various companies at his salary of four million a year, but it didn't last long because he quit. Uh, he fired her. That's the problem. He fired her, but he promised he would give her three million, you know, to go away, and she didn't get that. That is why she's suing, but she's also adding sexual harassment due to the text messages and all these other things, which she was okay with 
and these phone conversations where he was master. <clears throat> it was not a one way because if it happens more than once and the first time you didn't tell him, look, is this is uncomfortable. I don't like this or you know what I mean? I mean, come on, the guy would master <clears throat> on the phone every conversation. And you didn't know. You were joining in. You were saying things. You were whatever you were doing. It was not a one-way or one-sided thing. Now it's a problem because you're suing because he didn't pay you. You have the right to sue. If he promised you that, then, yeah, sue him. But make sure that you have that in writing. Whatever he promised you, you have to have it in writing, like a contract. So we'll see what, what happens because, I don't know, it's just like he hired only OnlyFans, someone who's selling their bodies online, doing sexual things f to, to do professional work, to run his businesses. Like, what? And you didn't, this guy have no respect. I mean, his wife, you don't see he has his wife walking around naked. Naked. So... Yeah, there's no way he was going to respect you. And you don't even respect yourself because you allowed it. You allowed all that to, like, happen multiple times. So, you know, you know I mean, I don't, really, these Instagram models and these OnlyFans models are really there for hire. They, you know, they do escorts. They are, yeah. So the fact that he hired her and then she took him seriously... I don't know. And, you know, Kanye is, you know, he's he's a creep. You know, he like a finger in the... Well, <laughs> wait, <laughs> where am I going with this? <laughs> he, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. But Kanye is crazy, so we're going to... He's not going to take this lightly, you know. And I'm sure he has, like, good lawyers. So I don't see him settling out of court. Well, we'll see. We'll see because, yeah, this is going to be crazy. But, um, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, please share. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.